Mercedes GLC has always been the best selling vehicles in the crowded SUV segment and today we are going to take an overview look at the next generation GLC. In just the last few days, we have seen the next Mercedes-Benz GLC class lose its heavier camouflage coverings for a thinner wrap that doesn't hide much. Based on this, we have some realistic renderings that depicts the forthcoming GLC class from the front and the rear, highlighting expected changes to the fascias with new groove design as well as the lights that include a new LED lighting signature. Down back, there are slim tail lights that appear to be heavily inspired by the C-Class. It is certainly an evolutionary approach as opposed to shaking up the formula through the modest exterior redesign hides more significant updates underneath. Among other things, the new GLC class should be slightly larger than the outgoing model, so it's not just a simple reskin. You can immediately tell it is the new one by the position of the side mirrors, as they have been moved lower to the doors rather than just sitting at the base of the A pillars. The belt line is no longer completely flat, since it now gently rises towards the rear to be in line with the latest Mercedes-Benz design language. In addition, the door handles are located significantly lower on the door panel where the upper character line is less intrusive. Although this, from this angle, it is very hard to tell, but the new GLC should be bigger than its predecessor now that Mercedes is also selling a 7-seat GLB boxy crossover. The two have almost the same length, which means the three-pointed star has probably decided to make this spiritual successor to the GLK bigger and avoid a potential overlap. Now just like the current generation GLC, the next generation will align closely with the redesigned C-Class in terms of its interior and exterior design and also powertrains and technology. The new GLC could receive a freestanding digital instrument cluster measuring 12.3 inches, as well as a 11.9 inch portrait oriented infotainment system that is titled towards the driver. The new touchscreen will run the second generation MBUX operating system with slicker graphics and augmented reality navigation system and over the air updates. We also expect to see a restyled dashboard with more square off events and with those on the center stack mounted higher. Under the bonnet, we can expect largely the same range of turbocharged electrified four-cylinder as the C-Class. The new c engine is a 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder with a 48-volt Y hybrid system with a total system output of 450 kilowatts of power and 200 newton meter of torque. The C200 features a larger 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine reducing 190 kilowatts and 400 newton meter. The C200E available in other markets will use a detuned 2.0 liter turbocharged i4 electric engine with a 25.4 kilowatt per hour battery pack. It has a total system output of 230 kilowatt and 550 newton meter. The electrified model is expected to inherit 25.4 kilowatt per hour battery pack from the latest C200E where it has enough juice for over 100 kilometers of electric range. The GLC 200E might not be able to match that since we are expecting it to be a slightly heavier. There are also a number of turbo diesel powertrains available in other markets too. All engines features a 9-speed automatic transmission. The GLC 43 and the GLC 63 AMG models are expected to follow, with the latter adopting a turbocharged plug-in hybrid 4-cylinder powertrain from the A45 AMG's M139 engine and re-engineered for a longitudinal applications that can be combined with an electric motor developing up to 150 kilowatt and 322 newton meter of torque. Combined back power and torque figures have yet to be released. Now that Mercedes driving test is vehicle wrapped as a mobile advertisement, it should be happening reasonably soon. We would definitely see it before the end of this year as a 2023 model. We expect the second generation GLC to break cover later this year as a 2023 model priced from around $45,000 since the current model retails from $43,850 in GLC 200 spec. So yeah, that's my quick overview of the upcoming GLC. You can comment down below for your thoughts on this car and also feel free to like and subscribe.